Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, uh, one of the things that has to be asked now that we know that there's a big change at the head of the Microsoft and Devices team is the future of uh, Windows itself. Not in, is it going to have a future? It definitely will be there for years to come. But right now, as it stands, of course, we have Windows 10 that is really, really um, the dominant Windows. It is supposed to have end of support in October 2025. Then we have, of course, this Windows 11, which um, for a lot of us, we kind of noticed that when it came out two years ago, it did seem to be a unfinished piece of software that was pushed very early on uh, with big surprise too. Um, what made all of this change? What, you know, we know that some ideas behind uh, Windows 11 itself derived from Windows 10 X and from uh, something that uh, back in the day we thought would be um, Windows 10 redesign, um, and it finally came up to be a new operating system. Still mostly based on Windows 10. Now, we're getting it to 23H2 soon, and actually we see signs, I do see signs here that it's coming in the next few weeks, so it's not that long off, that far off before we are on 23H2. And um, two years into Windows 11, uh, still a lot of questions as to, uh, first of all, you know, how much market share can it still grab? It seems to be kind of stuck now, roughly to a quarter of all the PCs. And it definitely doesn't have a lot of love going around it. If you just look at, you know, or ask at Google, what people think of Windows 11, apart from parts that we're going to say that some of the people that use it actually like it. Uh, you'll probably see more websites and more places where people just rant at it. And one of the rants, the major rants towards it, minimum requirements. Now, we know that the rumors are Windows 12 next year around October of next year, so roughly a year from now. Now, the question that you could ask yourself is, with Panos Panay going, now Yusuf Mehdi is coming in, uh, younger, and and it possibly with new, new ideas, changes things in his mind that he might want to implement. Every time there was a new head of Windows. There was a new direction for Windows. There were changes happening in Windows. I can't help but think that there will be changes coming to Windows within the next year because of the new leadership. And there's a lot of questions that come to my mind as to, okay, what, what are you going to do? Do you want to have things continue the way you are? Would you suddenly have a change and say, hey, you know what, uh, maybe Windows 12 is not a thing yet for us to release. Uh, do you want to give more love to Windows 11? Um, you'll be the one that will be within the, well, do we extend the end of support uh, on Windows 10 to a later date because it's really popular? All of this is going to have to be decided within the next couple of years and and some of the decision within the next months for what's coming up next year. Um, so the question I have to you guys is what do you think could happen here? Is anything going to change? Is it going to stay the same? Will he implement changes that we never thought would come because now we didn't think that somebody else would be there? Um, one thing for sure is that the event coming up this week is probably going to open up some light as to the future of Windows. And of course, um, he has committed to the devices, which means Surface devices probably going to live on. Uh, we're going to see. 
but it really, really is interesting because not only we are in the year, come the upcoming year is going to be very, very interesting in terms of Windows 12 and all that's going to change and what's coming up and getting closer, of course, slowly closer to Windows 10 and of support. Plus the fact that now you got somebody new that is ahead of Windows and might actually change things around. So uh, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's personally, I think it's a good thing that there's a change at the head of the Windows team and the device team. I think it could be actually very positive. And I know he's very, very driven towards AI, so that will be a uh, part of the future. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.